Finding water in the desert is like finding, well, water in the desert. In California's Coachella Valley, where average annual rainfall is just a mere four inches, water is an incredibly precious resource. If there's anyone who's even more reliant on stable water environments than we humans, it's the desert pupfish. It's the only fish species native to the Coachella Valley. This freshwater fish can survive in water that is six times saltier than the ocean, and it can tolerate extreme temperatures from as low as 40 degrees to as high as 108 Fahrenheit. Despite their unrivaled survival abilities, the desert pupfish is threatened by habitat destruction, invasive species, and climate change that's creating unstable water conditions. That's why we at the Living Desert Zoo and Gardens, funded through Proposition 1 by the Coachella Valley Mountains Conservancy, are restoring 20 acres of Salt Creek, a stream bed near the Salton Sea and one of the few remaining pockets of desert pupfish habitat. A central restoration goal is to remove hundreds of non-native invasive tamarisk trees from the riparian area. Tamarisk are a large threat to the survival of desert pupfish because tamarisk trees take up large amounts of water. Uh, an adult tamarisk can take up up to 200 gallons of water in a day. And with hundreds of these trees lining the creek, that really depletes the amount of habitat available for the desert pupfish. The restoration work out at Salt Creek is not as glamorous as you might think and involves long days using chainsaws, loppers to cut and pull invasive plants out of the creek bed. But it's not enough just to remove the trees. So not only are we removing tamarisks from this habitat, but we're replanting native species from seed that was collected at that habitat earlier this year and that will allow for the ecosystem to kind of get a jump start at returning to its stable state and also help to combat the return of tamarisk. I think that in the work we're doing, every little small step that can be taken counts. We're surrounded by degrading ecosystems, so every habitat restoration contributes to the health of the planet and to species like the desert pufffish. This project is helping make the planet a better place as we focus on just one species, the desert pupfish, but end up impacting and creating a healthy ecosystem all around it. We're trying to undo some of the harm that we've already caused the planet and make it better for the other species that we share our world with. Although pupfish have carved out a remarkable existence in ephemeral desert streams for millennia, they can't survive without our help. You can visit the Living Desert Zoo and Gardens to see our pupfish recovery ponds and learn about the other work we're doing to help save this impressive species.